Hey, Leo. All right. Cancer's reading was a lot, so I had to, like, take a hugely long break and go out drinking and come back, and now it's, like, nighttime. Just kidding. I didn't do any of that. Um... I did really stupid menial stuff at my house, but that's okay. So Leo, hi, it's Lilac. Thanks for coming to the Lilac Room. We're gonna do a reading for April 2022 for the sign of Leo. I've already uploaded and shared <clears throat> on YouTube my universal reading for all signs, and then I did a emperor reading for everybody. All right, so now we're gonna see what's going on for Leos like myself for the month of April. Guys, you must write in and let me know if your like household appliances are on the fritz. Don't ask why, just do it. Um, below my video, I'm going to leave some links to where you can look at my products on Etsy or where you could book a private reading if you want more information about how these energies are affecting you. Um, two eclipses going on. We've got um, two eclipses in the month of April. We've got Saturn doing stuff to you on your sign. And we have Mercury and Venus. So love life. Woo, crazy. King of Swords. First card out. I'm doing a little different reading. It's an intuitive reading. Okay, I am using cards, but not my usual Celtic cross. So, King of Swords is your first card out. And the overall energy for April was like nothing new is happening. So this King of Swords was already in your energy. This King of Swords could be you, could be someone else, could be something else, could be a situation, could be a person. Um, I do feel like it's very possible that it's a situation that's represented by this King of Swords, very like important pivoting uh, position. I feel like maybe there's a bargaining chip on the table. I don't know where that's coming from. It looks like all of your usual strategies are not working. Now, I, I did channel something. I wrote, time for a nap. Do your best work at sunset. I don't know what that means, but just keep it in mind as we talk. So. It looks like all of your strategies, none of your best strategies are working. Like if there's a situation at hand or a person that's pissing you off or um, causing you to struggle, none of your usual techniques and strategies have been able to resolve the situation. It's like you're wondering if it's bad luck. In fact, all of the cards except for one are in reverse after this King of Swords, all of the cards. So I feel like in the month of April, Leos are basically um, dealing with the energy of resistance against you. So it's weird because like I channeled the message, time for a nap, do your best work at sunset. And I was thinking, I was like, what does that even mean? Like, do your best work at sunset? Like wait until, wait until all the energy of the day has kind of like passed by and then Leo gets to come out. It's kind of like there's no way around the chaos except to kind of wait it out, which would make me wonder why are Leos the only one who aren't jumping in and causing chaos if that's the case? Like, is that the case? I can tell you that you have tried to manifest many ideas. You have fallen upon what feels like not good luck in the last month or so leading up to April and it continues through April again and I said this in another reading the two eclipses in April <coughs> give the month of April the feeling of a mercury in retrograde <coughs> a time to reflect upon where we're at what we're building what we have built where does the boat have leaks that we need to plug um, which bless you dear would make sense that we would um, take a nap, take a rest. You know, maybe maybe Leos are the ones that have been doing a lot of the work and now it's somebody else's turn to jump in and do their part and Leos are stepping back, analyzing, reflecting, reviewing, blogging, I hope. 
dancing maybe, sipping wine, perhaps. Doing tarot card readings online for zero dollars. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like you've given up, kind of like, get, not in a bad way, like you've given up hoping and dreaming and daydreaming and wishing and waiting and that's cool. Like, it's all okay. Um, so the world is the only card that comes upright. <clears throat> and it's towards the end of April. It's towards the end of April. Um, when I was doing the Emperor reading for the sign of Leo, two cards came out. And it was connected with the Pisces energy of the Seven of Swords. And I believe Leo had like the five of swords or something I don't know but it was similar similar enough that that's what sticks in my mind is <clears throat> that <clears throat> for for Leo's this emperor energy towards the end of April which is when the world is upright for you so that's a good thing um it's like other people I, I'm getting the feeling to tell you just back up and let other people fucking kill themselves like Go ahead, have at it. You want to have a fight. You want to have a, a tussle. You want to have a disagreement. You want to go have a debate. Leo is like, no, I don't think so. I did my part. I submitted my my piece, and I've been here all along, playing with for the team, doing the thing, providing the leadership, and nobody wants to hear what I have to say. Bye. That's the way it looks to me, Leo. You know, because nothing else that you've tried has worked. And you start off as the king of swords, but you end up as the world. So that tells me that your strategy makes sense. <sighs> I wish I had more for you, but I don't want to overcomplicate the reading. So let's look at an oracle card. My son let me borrow his wolf deck because I'm at home. I have the flu. I haven't been able to get to my studio. So we're using his oracle cards. <clears throat> this is an interesting one. Number 40, long journey. You're about to embark on a long journey. This could be for career or love. New opportunities await you and all will be successful. Cool. I mean, I think that that card magnifies the energy of April, where all of April is just kind of like a, a shit show for you guys, for us guys. I can't wait to see what my moon and rising have to say because that was not at all encouraging. But anyway, thanks for coming in, Leo. If you want a private reading to look closer at the energies affecting your life or the people or the situations, um, you can get a little more fine-tuned advice or Reiki treatment. Um, you can do that with the links below. Otherwise, thank you so much. Namaste.